News Center 25's Abby Rocha joining us now live after speaking with voters. Abby? Yes, Lee, I'm live in Victoria outside of the Patty Dodson Public Health Center where midterm election voting is wrapping up. If you haven't already, you have until 7 p.m. tonight to go out and cast your vote. So far this year, the voting numbers are higher than the 2014 midterm elections, making this one of the most highly watched and contested campaigns by many of the candidates. For voting information in your county, visit crossroadstoday.com. Back to you, Lee. Polls are still open for you to all to get out there and vote. You have about two hours. New Center 25's Abby Rocha has been at the Pounty Dodson Public Health Center speaking with voters in line and speaking with a political activist. She joins us now live with what they're saying. Abby? Yes, Lee, I'm here at the Patty Dodson Center where last minute voters are hurrying in to cast their ballots. And I'm also here with Trinidad Ramos III, who's a political activist. He's lived in Victoria for almost 40 years now. You told me that this turnout has been astounding. What do you mean by that? Uh, the fact that I mean astounding is that uh, these numbers are almost reaching what the presidential of this county, which was uh, 2016, meaning this is outrageous. And I hope it continues in the near future. You have less than two hours to vote, so please go out and vote. Yes, definitely. And I've checked with all our counties in the crossroads and so far there have been no issues as far as discrepancies or any at any of the voting locations. So far this year, the voting numbers are higher than the 2014 midterm elections. And I've talked to several people out here who are really excited to get their voices heard. Now you have until 7 p.m. tonight again. And for voting information in your county, go to crossroadstoday.com. Back to you, Lee.